Alright, so this video is about um, test number 10, which um, is happening on Friday. So this is a review for the test. If you're not sure how to do these, you notice um, on this side is the problem number, and then here it'll tell you what page it's on in your journal where you've got examples and notes. Here's your example. So this video is walking you through examples one through four. Click on the other videos for the other problems. Um, and then here on the side, it tells you where there's already a video about this information, this topic. And then if you um, need more practice um, to prepare for your test, because that's how you get better, this is the IXL that you could do to get more practice. So I'm going to walk with you through number one. And what you're supposed to do is get write it in point slope. So I'm going to show you it's on page 40. And if you don't have the notes for page 40, well, there's a video for that. Here's the point slope equation. So that's what I'm going to use on number one. So I write y minus y1 equals m parentheses x minus x1. So in this problem, I'm going to label x1 y1, and it tells me that's my m, that's my slope. So what I write is, since I have this, is I'm going to write y, y is always y. Now when it says y1, that's when it changes to a number. So for this problem, I'm going to put y minus, and you might want to pause it and see if you could do it by yourself, and then press play um, and see if you got it right. So y1, y1 right here is 17. Your slope is right here, negative 3 x is always x and you're going to put minus but notice here it was positive that's why I put minus if it's negative like this one you're going to do the opposite which is plus so you're doing the opposite because your formula is minus so that's telling you to do the opposite now number two you're finding the slope between two points that's on page 42 of how to do that there's a formula There's a formula, we label x1, y1, x2, y2, and then we use the formula. So let's do that right here. Let's label x1, y1, x2, y2. And so the formula is y2 minus y1, x2 minus x1. <coughs> so press pause, try it by yourself, and then press play, see if you got it correct. So y2 is right here 8 minus y1. 1, which is negative 2, um, over x2, x2 is 7, minus x1, x1 is 5, and we're going to put that in the calculator. I'll tell you if it's right. Right, and don't press enter, come back, and I'll tell you if you're doing it right or wrong. So you're going to need to put this in the calculator. Yes. Well, don't put the 0, because you don't have to put 0. Let me change the exposure. So this is on the calculator. I press control divide, control divide. So then I get my fraction. It leaves less room for error. It was eight minus negative two over seven minus five. Okay, that's what you should have in the calculator and this is what you should get. So that's really important because you won't be able to do the other pieces without it. And so that equals 2, 5. Okay. So then we need this because we're going to need right here. See how it's the same points? We need to do slope point equation. That's what we did here. And we, on this problem, we're not given the slope. So that's why we had to do this part first. So we'll write the same formula. Y minus Y1, M minus X minus X1. So y is always y, just like what we did here. Pause it and see if you got it correct. Did you get it correct? Let's see. y minus, so x1, y1. y1 is this negative 2 because it's negative. You're going to put plus 2. Your slope, that's what you just did in this problem. The slope is right here. 5, x minus x1, x1 is 5. All right, so that's what you're doing on number 3. I hope you got it correct. Number four, you have to solve this. So we're taking this equation here, and we're basically solving it. And um, so I write it again. Please write it again. And so what we're going to do, the first step is to distribute this 5 in front. Um, by distribute, I mean you're going to multiply times everything inside. Try it, and then pause it, video, press play. Did you get it right? Let's see. 5 times x is 5x. 5 times negative 5 is negative 25. 
So then I bring this down, y plus 2, because it needs to be in y equals. When it says slope intercept, that means a y equals equation. And right now it says y plus. So this plus 2, we need to move that plus 2. That's my second step. First step is to multiply. Second step is to move. Since it's a plus 2, the opposite of plus 2 is minus 2. Um, this is an underline. That's an underline, so you put it here. That equals to negative 27. And then you just bring everything down. So it's y equals 5x minus 27.